can hear me. Is that your new tape? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm hmm Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. It ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine's... owns the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confident. <laughs> arrested? For what? 
Our ship just accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops, our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. <sighs> How would we accidentally cross into the Novacore force field? Details. <sighs> Mora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. Ah. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing. Feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Okay, here we go. Rocket crew tracks, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Novacore security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Novanet still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the Assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the Betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. Zero, four, five, one. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like- There. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoff 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <clears throat> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group Quill Soda. Team Rockets up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Ugh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop side. Grounds to escape to land a ship, you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, group. <laughs> Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. My baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Ah. Oh, can you imagine? I am Groot. 
What, the pink goo? It's custom nano resin, designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. Settle an argument, Rodent. What is this omnipresent pink substance made of? You mean the Ebrium based nano resin cluster foam? Never trust something with that many dashes in its name. Is it caustic? Not if it stays outside you. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that span the entire galaxy held together by. pink goo. Ebrium based nano resin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. Oh, look! Yellow and blue! Looks like an old Novacore frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so... Don't know if you noticed, Rocket, but people aren't exactly falling over themselves to hire us. Oh, I have noticed. If this job pans out, sure we'll get money, but also a rich new client. We need to impress Lady Hellbender with a monster she's interested in, not just any old crit- Whoa! Okay. I'm okay! Ha! You almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny! You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us, hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you-know-who joined us. I am Quill. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. You're only saying that because she's listening. Is that why your plan has Drax and I taking the ship? Maybe. Hey, can't a guy want to spend some quality time with his friends? Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Eh, uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on! How can you even tell? Just trust me, alright? Hey, group, you think we could find pieces of the Trion shard in here? I'm good. How'd you even know the other way was a dead end? Because, unlike you, I have a very keen sense of direction. We don't know what it looks like. Watch it, Quill! Take that, brittle stuff! Ugh, I hate these ship-eating parasites. Flarkas would chew right through the Milano in two cycles. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. Uh, yeah, try not to think about it. Better not to wonder what happened to any. Ah! Ah! Amazing! I should have been recording. Bridge over. I want to see if he's alive. I don't know, but he's twitching. Larkin, Scott stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just uh, thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay, there's a craft out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Okay. Crawling through creepy old ship. No big deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty sure nothing's gonna jump out at you. Except maybe me and crew. Now this brings back memories. Hey, Gamora, make sure the Milano don't get stuck in any of this resin. You 
fall into another hole? <laughs> well, was that you? I shot something, like you said. I've got a way forward. See? Never fails. Huh? Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Aw, oh, hey, little guy. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? You dead quill? We can hear your wussy squeal even without the cops. Little busy! Crap! That's cheating! You guys should have seen that. It was this weird lobby thing. <laughs> Not falling for this again. Sorry to burst your bubble! It's so jiggly! Ah, the hot Everything okay over there? Quill nearly got himself eaten by a blob or something. Should have heard him squeal. You must fight with dignity, Peter Quill. Or at least die with it. Not funny. tasked with keeping Peter Quill safe. Am I supposed to fall in holes instead of him? Yes. Uh, Quill, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. <laughs> like you could even tell if she had an honest face. If we set up all these thumpers and no monster shows, we'll just need to salvage what scrap we can and haul it back with us. Yeah, scrubbing off all that nano resin would take forever. Infinity mother of Scott! Are you kidding me? Son of a smack! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all, all right, the time. Groot. Let's see that cool vibe. Oh, no. That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More ship eaters. You know what? Let's blast right in the noise. Rocket. Gross. 50 units says I can pop more parasites than you. What's that scoreboard doing on my visor, Rocket? You like it? Hacked it into your visor last time you took a snooze. Really? Come on, one point per nest. I don't love you messing with my stuff while I'm asleep. You seem to like it just fine when I fix the death boots of yours. Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? Hey, Greenies. You see any blue and gold ships out there? You let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do with right into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we will restrain them until you're done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Ah, uh, fuck that! Trust me, I've done- <laughs> Okay, here we go. Alright, set her down right there. <laughs> yep, one to go. Flark! No! No! Flark and Skaggy! I'm Kratak and Batteries fried, that's what's wrong! Maybe you put it down too hard! Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay. We're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. Gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you found something with a charge! Kinda looks like a spacey car battery. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is... minuscule. At best. You'll be fine. What are you waiting for, Quill? Grab it! Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So, uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Fucking monster, baby! Everyone get ready! Bro! 
Fuck it! Help me scramble some critters! No, no, no Scott! I don't rewire this! Looks like it's all us, group! Lost another one! How long does it take to shoot, Scott? I prefer a drive pin than mine, I did! See you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? If the two of us gotta lug that monster all the way to Lady Hellbender, don't expect us to send units to your next to kin or nothing. I don't have kin. My family is dead. Survivors split the money. The rest of you... Man, that thing is ridiculous. I think it was a ship or a robot. That's a Cree Sentry. A robot, but it would have been space worth it. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. How do you know all this? Because they were my fellow experiments back on Half-World. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so, uh, I got a sneak peek at all the new killbots. I could see the parts come and go from my, uh... Uh, my cage. I didn't mean to open old wounds. Eh, most of them are just scars now, anyways. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. The entire facility is the problem. I wish I'd gone back and blown it up before the end of the war. Groot, need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that... Yes! I'm about to win this bat quilt! Here goes nothing. <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. You have robot parts inside your head. Bam! <laughs> Found a nest. Maybe this is the Parasite Clubhouse. Well, shoot down a nest if you're having fun. Speaks for itself. You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. All right, Thumper goes there, Quill. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if it started. Gotta love that kill radius. Rock and roll, Rocket! 
like that. 